Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have more tea from Orange County. Yes, this is video three from the Kelly Dot Extravaganza. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do it right now, guys. Don't forget, December 28th, we have, repeat after me, the first Housewife Hunger Games. Go apply right now, super easy. Just subscribe to me and my husband's uh, YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Shoot me an email because how else I'm gonna know that you are doing it. And from those emails, I will be picking eight super fans to go head to head on these games for $300, guys. So go do it right now and let's get into this mess. Well, guys. Kelly Dot, watch what happened live, her against the world. Now we need to talk about she going after Shannon Bedor and her husband. Kind of. So Andy asked her what she think about Shannon and her boyfriend and the comments that one of her daughters did saying that the boyfriend didn't fulfill all of Shannon's needs and what is going to be the future of the couple. Kelly ends up very not, I'm sorry, Kelly starts saying very nicely that they love them together, that they are a great couple, they act like best friends, and that they are really good together. You know, Kelly spends a lot of time with Shannon because they live right on the same street, so that they are perfect for each other however the comments made from the kids are because i just i forgot the name of the boyfriend i think it's john but i'm not sure so i'm gonna call him john but if you know the actual name just put it on the comments below uh so the thing is like john doesn't make the same amount of money that you know uh, David Bedore used to do so Shannon and the girls are used to a certain lifestyle and John is not going to be able to maintain that lifestyle so when the daughter says that he is not fulfilling her needs apparently those needs are financial needs so basically what you're saying is that if the person doesn't have money, it's not good enough for you or for your mom. That's what Kelly Dot is saying. Oh, and she goes, it's super dismissive, says like, oh, those girls are already used to another, a different kind of lifestyle. Basically saying that they are spoiling, spoiled brats. Um, I don't know what response is going to be. From Shannon, I don't think she's going to be very happy about it because honestly, I think Kelly was a little bit dismissive and a little bit harsh on her answer. Uh, you know how Kelly Dot is, right? So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Shannon is going to say about this. I hope that someone or Andy ask her at some point about these comments because these are very, I will say hard comments. You know, basically you're saying like if someone doesn't have money, then it's never going to be good enough for Shannon. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Do you think that Kelly is right on this one or do you think that it really doesn't have anything to do with Shannon at this point? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and overall subscribe to my channel. Troop, you are dismissed and I'll see you around. See ya.